So what would cause the um, foam in the mouth that you were talking about? And now if we're looking at an autopsy after the body's exhumed, how, how difficult is that going to be to do toxicology? Yeah, that's going to be difficult. And it's also going to be difficult to, I mean, I'm assuming she was embalmed and that makes it difficult to really get a, a fresh look at what was going on. Generally with the foaming at the mouth, one, you know, one can think of seizure. One could think of, then we get into some of the poisons or toxicology kind of things that cause um, frothing at the mouth, um, which the frothing comes from um, lung inflammation and what we call bronchorrhea. So like diarrhea is, you know, loose stool mm -hmm. and a lot of liquid. Bronchorrhea is the extra flow and extra production of fluid and salivation in the lung. And that could come from uh, congestive heart failure. But somebody who's running and prepping for a 5K couldn't do it with congestive heart failure. And that would sort of bring us to well, what would things acutely cause? And, th and then that's where you might get into some of the toxins or the poisons. And one thing that I gleaned from the statement of Ian Pulaski that then went to ben Brandon Boudreau and to the police, and it's, it, it, it is for public consumption, is, um, I want to see if I can find the quote here, is the importance of malachite in their, I'm going to call it group. I don't want to call it a cult yet because I don't want to miss, I don't want to misnomer. But what he said was, do you mind if I read this? The, yeah, court the, the court documents, the legal documents of Brandon Boudreaux taken, obtained from the new husband of Melanie Pulaski state that Chad and Lori's group use, quote, healing malachite solutions and bombs. They believe that malachite has healing properties and it's used for blessings and rituals. There are th really four ways that malachite can be given to people and can be lethal. And one is in elixirs, which they mention. The other is a bomb. And so um, what you do is you take the dust of the malachite and you mix it with oil, right? And then you can spread it on people's skin. Do not ever, ever mix crystalline malachite with oil to make a bomb because it's absorbed into the skin and it can be lethal. It bothered me for many reasons. Number one, um, I do know that the autopsy, and it was a very complete, uh, for the most part, autopsy, did show that his uh, uh, left in anterior descending artery, which is the main artery that feeds your heart, was almost 100% occluded. People do die of that. Um, and he had 50% occlusion elsewhere. But what bothers me is that, I mean, the guy was on no medication. And only after the fact did Sulema say that he was symptomatic and having some maybe chest pain and some shortness of breath. But a few days prior to his death. But this is a guy who basically was traveling hither, thither, yon. And yes, they claimed that he had um, uh, clots in his lungs, probably from maybe a deep venous thrombosis or maybe from the heart. But what bothered me about the autopsy is they really didn't comment too much on the, on the deep veins of the extremity. So where did the clots come from? And then I ran with you on the whole malachite thing and that malachite can alter. I mean, it takes a small amount, like if you, uh, it takes a small amount, I won't tell you too much about that, but um, there was a three-year-old that, that ingested that green fish, well, fish food diet. I mean, fish food. Uh, I don't know if it's the food or the, the, the aquatic, yeah, I remember that. Disinfected yeah. or whatever. And she, it was a small amount, and within minutes, her 
parent found her completely blue, not breathing. They rushed her down to the hospital. She survived. But they said, um, the brother said, oh, she was eating this thing. And what this thing was, the, the aquatic preparation to clean the tank, and it comes in a very small little bottle, malachite was the main thing. So it it is it is very organically active. It binds to copper and you can have effects either immediately, you can also have effects over a period of weeks, or you can have an effect long term if you were working as a jeweler you know, with malachite. What is my point? My point is that the circumstances around his death make no sense to me. They the foaming at the mouth, the fact that he did have bowel incontinence, but that it was that it was uh, really diarrhea more than just because people do die on the commode when they strain. Uh, older people like me, if you strain, you can have a vasovagal episode, and you can faint, and it can also cause your heart to to stop. Okay, so we, that's why so many older people are found on the bathroom floor. But his presentation of being on the bathroom floor doesn't smack of the typical vasovagal slash sudden cardiac death. It bothered me for many reasons. Number one, um, I do know that the autopsy, and it was a very complete uh, for the most part, autopsy did show that his uh, uh, left in anterior descending artery, which is the main artery that feeds your heart, was almost 100% occluded. People do die of that. Um, and he had 50% occlusion elsewhere. But what bothers me is that, I mean, the guy was on no medication. And only after the fact did Sulema say that he was symptomatic and having some maybe chest pain and some shortness of breath. but a few days prior to his death. But this is a guy who basically was traveling hither, thither, yon. And yes, they claimed that he had um, uh, clots in his lungs, probably from maybe a deep venous thrombosis or maybe from the heart. But what bothered me about the autopsy is they really didn't comment too much on the, on the deep veins of the extremity. So where did the clots come from? And then I ran with you on the whole malachite thing and that malachite can alter. I mean, it takes a small amount, like if you, uh, it takes a small amount. I won't tell you too much about that, but um, there was a three-year-old that, that ingested that green fish, oh, fish food dye. I mean, fish food. Uh, I don't know if it's the food or the, the, the aquatic, yeah, I remember that. Disinfected yeah. or whatever. And she, it was a small amount. And within minutes, her parent found her completely blue, not breathing. They rushed her down to the hospital. She survived. But they said, um, the brother said, oh, she was eating this thing. And what this thing was, the, the aquatic preparation to clean the tank. And it comes in a very small little bottle. Malachite was the main thing. So it, it, is, it is very organically active. It binds to copper and you can have effects either immediately, you can also have effects over a period of weeks, or you can have an effect long-term if you were working as a jeweler you know, with malachite. What is my point? My point is that the circumstances around his death make no sense to me. They, the foaming at the mouth, the fact that he did have bowel incontinence, but that it was that it was uh, really diarrhea more than just because people do die on the commode when they strain. Uh, older people like me, if you strain, you can have a vasovagal episode, and you can faint, and it can also cause your heart to to stop. Okay, so we, that's why so many older people are found on the bathroom floor. But his presentation of being on the bathroom floor doesn't smack of the typical vasovagal slash sudden cardiac death. So that was my question, Amy, is, is um, 
were these new clots or old clots? Because yeah. an old clot would be like, I've been sitting in the airplane too long or something, wouldn't it? Well, a, a lot of people throw clot, can, a lot of people do present with a, a culmination of, after many weeks of throwing little, little clots from a chronic um, deep venous thrombosis. Maybe they took the airplane or he went to Mexico as a truck driver to get some medications, which apparently he is on no medication. I mean, this whole story is very suspect, but let's say he developed a clot as a truck driver when he went to Mexico to get his alleged medications. Maybe, but that was two weeks, those, those clots, he may have flicked off clot here, clot there, clot here, clot there, and those would be, an, when they opened up the lungs, an old, you know, mature clots. We don't know, that wasn't commented on either. So we need more information. Yeah. Oh, if the if law enforcement would just give us in the public side all the info we want. Okay. But Malachi poisoning on that, we can visit this on our next uh, go round if you choose yeah. to invite me. But Malachi poisoning is known to cause uh, micro bleeding in the lungs, and it does um, interfere with the clotting cascade. Okay, so that you get the bleeding, but then you can get a hyper clotting. So he could have been malachite poisoned and developed these clots in his lungs. You see, so we need more time well, and more information. I don't even know that you uh, pitched this the, the way I caught it, but when you even were, ta were you were talking about the, the child getting the malachite from the uh, aquarium and uh, you, you mentioned the jeweler and, and I want to tie together how intriguing it was that Lori ordered Malachite rings for their special wedding in Hawaii. And, uh, and that jeweler is what, what reminded me that, that that's another area that would be fun to talk about because you do see um, serial killers who at times will take trophies. Sometimes they're symbolic, the memory, the location, sometimes they're an actual artifact. And uh, I found that very interesting as well as we as we look at that uh this this is interesting cowgirl archer uh just threw this one up what kind of drugs or substances uh, are common are not commonly tested for that you you think could cause a death like tammy's and or alex's well i mean i, I know that the the whole issue of malachite has come up and we did discuss that uh, about a year ago, which of course nobody, myself frankly, <laughs> remembers about malachite. But the key with malachite poisoning is twofold. Number one is it, we're not talking about the, the rings that come from Amazon or whatever that are polished. And you know, once malachite is polished, it, it, it doesn't have the toxic properties that um, a more raw form of malachite would have. Um, and malachite becomes quite potent when it's mixed with water or oil, okay? And um, we did note from the interview documents that, let me see if I can keep all these people correctly. Is it Ian Pulowski that married Melanie, right? Um, does that, is it a t chat? Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, he, he did go to the police out of cons great concern for a couple of days after he married Melanie, that she was coming out with a lot of stuff on zombies and blessings and Malachite. And, and in that document, it's about a five or six page document from the East Idaho News. Actually, ha they have that document. I've reviewed that, is some specific information on the importance of Malachite in um, quote blessings, um, but that part of the blessings, it, it was a strange comment. I'd have to, to read back on it, but um, the, the ways that they use it are to make a bomb, B-A-L-M, um, that they would put on people's skin. And if you do, if uh, once you mix malachite with an oil or a water, aqueous matter, you activate it. And so there are known um, toxicities and deaths that have happened when people are rubbed with malachite, okay? And apparently as part of this cult, they used malachite bomb in their blessings, okay? And then 
the other is in T's that people, and I hate to even mention this because somebody last week made a very good point that should we even be discussing these? <laughs> yeah. Because as he drinks his Dr. Pepper. <laughs> but I, but I actually <laughs> popped the top on it. So so even a date rape drug won't affect me here. <laughs> right, Dan, yeah, hopefully the rat poison on top. Yeah, yeah. Spray in the warehouse, be, be washed. Okay, <laughs> but seriously, um, the tea that, that if you and so this is why i'm a little bit nervous not nervous but uh hesitant to give all too much specific right because we don't need people to get unstable yeah. unhinged yeah. people to get odd ideas but it, it is a sweet flavor when you malachite is mixed with water and it could be given as a tea and those deaths do come rather quickly okay and so we don't know. Did did Tammy get a tea? Did she get any bomb? Did she get a blessing? I, we don't know. I'd have to kind of go back and see what sort of um, informal testimony. Well, you know, I, th I think back, I mean, the, the example uh, the, that you and I talked about, and I actually looked at the case pretty closely of the little girl who actually got Malachi poisoning from the fish food. It's not fish food, I'm sorry. It's the fish that tank um, purifier. It's an yeah. antiparasitic and it's actually malachite green, which is a slightly different type of malachite than in the gem. But the bottom line is, I mean, she literally, it was within like two yeah. minutes in cyanotic. Yeah. It was almost immediate. And had they not done something immediately, mm -hmm. she would have died. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is powerful. This is really powerful stuff. So the question, I guess, comes to me and and then I want to go back and talk about Tylee and, and Joshua for a moment mm -hmm. is can you recover chemical residue in tissue of a malachite poisoning because what we do in the embalming process is we remove all the blood we right. we fill the body with <laughs> preservatives right. I mean gosh that, that's a tough challenge for someone the only thing I, and that's why it's a, sh a darn shame that she didn't get uh, an autopsy because sometimes months later we'll, we will uh, we'll call the lab or the coroner and say, do you have any uh, leftover? We, we just thought we'd like to run something else on this. And that's a, a darn shame. But going back to Ms. Archer, when she asked the question, uh, this is cowgirl Archer, um, about what are the unusual, I mean, you have the sort of top nine to 12 uh, substances that people are typically tested for, right? You know, you get your alcohol, your um, your Tylenol, your cocaine, your marijuana. I mean, we can go down the list like that. Uh, nobody's going to really be checking for malachite. Now, the malachite, the kind that are in the gem, the key is that the two key things with that in terms of poisoning is that there's an issue of a chemical reaction with copper, okay? in the malachite that actually competes with oxygen go back to chemistry competes to, with oxygen in the bloods on the re red blood cells so that even though the red blood cells are carrying oxygen they've sort of been tossed off by the copper as best as i can explain it yeah. and therefore that's why you get cyanotic so quickly and that's why it, they can say oh gosh they they look like they're they're oxygenating i mean if you look at the blood it's red or whatever, but the only really way for malachite, as I recall, is to do a blood gas to find out is the oxygen saturation really what it is and what it should be, because there's a competition with the copper and the oxygen. So people aren't getting the oxygenation in their blood and they quickly die from malachite poisoning. Although you can have a slow death. 